Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I want to talk about smoothies. I'm going to show you two of my favorite smoothie recipes. Every time I talk about smoothies, I'm actually talking about protein smoothies. I add protein to every single one of my smoothies. I don't like whey. It doesn't do all of my stomach. It gives me acne. So I found Vegan Pure and I've been using it ever since I found it. I just want to talk about the smoothies quickly and how to use them so you can lose weight, build muscle, and to get actually like your best healthy, leanest self. I see a lot of people start, you know, to try to focus on eating healthier and working out and they're all doing smoothies, 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 smoothies. But there's a few mistakes that they're making. Number one, they're using them as a meal replacement and I find that smoothies are more of a snack. Protein smoothies are more of a snack. It's being digested really quickly, it's already broken down. So I might have it as my breakfast but knowing that it's more of a snack, I will plan to eat an hour, two hours later. Not like a regular meal. So I think that's a big mistake. They go too long after having a smoothie to eating real food. The other mistake you might be making is eating too much fruit within your smoothie. When I make a protein shake, a smoothie, I won't add in five different types of fruit. I won't add in a full banana and a full cup of berries. I will choose. So if I want a banana, I never usually use more than half. I don't add in another cup of berries too. Maybe I'll do a quarter cup of berries. Like just picture yourself eating the whole banana, eating half a cup to a cup of berries and everything you add in, like you would be super full, but when you blend it all up, it's a lot easier to get in. So you're consuming actually quite a few calories, but it's not keeping you full long. So. The way to use protein shakes and smoothies to get the most benefit out of them is before and after your workouts. Either one, you can do both if that works for you. For me, if it's before my workout, it's easy to digest. I get my protein in quick, my carbs in quick from the fruit, um, or if I add an oatmeal or something like that. And if I do it post, I make sure to get my protein in fast and get some nutrients replenishing my muscles and my glycogen stores as fast as possible. I do not use smoothies and protein shakes to skip meals and neither should you. All this is gonna do is make you feel super unsatisfied. It's gonna create cravings later on in the day. Who wants to eat a smoothie or a protein shake instead of a meal? Nobody. This is when you're in a rush or you wanna replenish. Use them properly. If they are used properly, then they're wonderful. You know, after I go for a run, after I do a weight training session, I love to have a shake. And I don't believe in anything extreme. So it doesn't mean it has to, has to, has to be around a workout. You can do it in the afternoon or the morning or whatever, but just remember that it's a snack more than a meal and be prepared to be hungry within an hour or two. All right, let's get on to the recipe. So I'll be showing you my post-workout smoothie. I just did my weight training session, if you can't tell. The pump, no, that's gone. Um, okay, so first recipe, we're gonna do about half a cup of milk. That's all I got. <laughs> you can always add a little bit of water. Four ice cubes, four to six, depending on how big they are. Then I'll be using half the banana. You see why it's half? It's because I used the other half yesterday in my smoothie and it's brown because I keep it in the fridge and it kind of gets brown like that, but the inside is still looking delicious. So putting that into my smoothie for protein shake. I call it the same thing. And since I actually just finished my weight training workout, I will be adding about three quarters of a scoop I never really do a full scoop, just because I don't feel like I need it. I will also be adding a tablespoon of hemp hearts. I find this really thickens the smoothie. I like my smoothies thick. If you don't like yours thick, add more almond milk or water. So a heaping tablespoon. And my final ingredient is I put this uh, maca powder. You can use red maca powder, whatever maca powder you have around. I love maca powder because it helps with hormonal health. And I really struggled with hormonal health, acne, um, menstrual cycle issues. So adding things that help my hormones really help me become healthier. And that's what we're trying to do when we eat. We're trying to nourish our bodies. So I add in um, half a tablespoon of maca powder. 
and this kind of gives it a burnt caramel taste. So I like adding the chocolate and the burnt caramel taste together. So yummy. Sometimes I'll even add a tablespoon of peanut butter or almond butter, um, but honestly, I really like eating my almond butter or my peanut butter, and I saved that for this morning. I had that on a rice cake. So on two rice cakes, I'm just gonna keep this plain today, but that's your option. I'm just gonna blend it up. Cheers. Mm. Yummy. It's delicious just like this. My second smoothie recipe is for when, let's say it's Monday, you just had a few treats over the weekend, you are ready to really get some good nutrients and fuel into you. You feel like you kind of need to detox even. So it's my green detox smoothie, protein smoothie at that. So I always start with about four ice cubes. About half a cup of coconut water. So I usually use half of this. I just kind of eyeball it. That's pretty good. I'm just trying to kind of get some good vitamins and minerals into me. I'd add a little bit of spinach or whatever you have in the fridge that's green. I have a little bit of lettuce, so I'm gonna add the green parts. Doesn't really matter. You could skip that part. I'm also trying to detox because let's say maybe I had extra chocolate over the weekend, extra wine, extra pizza. You know I do that. <laughs> you know, you gotta live. It's all about balance. So I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of chia seeds. I love chia seeds because they actually really help detox in the digestion. They can help you kind of get rid of the crap you may have consumed over the weekend. So add two tablespoons of those. Then this new Vegan Pure Super Greens. Obsessed. They came out with this just recently and I had to try it. There are so many greens in here. Listen to this. Spirulina, kale, spinach, wheatgrass, broccoli, kelp, chlorella. Yes! So I'm gonna put in a scoop of this. It's just a tiny little scooper. It gets all your greens and minerals. So amazing. And I am still gonna put in a little bit of their proteins and greens. So I wanna get some extra protein in there. So I'm gonna put in only half a scoop of their vanilla protein. So use both of these. And then to make it sweet, I am gonna add some berries. You know, berries are lower in sugar, they're lower in the glycemic index, they're higher in fiber than most fruit. So if you're trying to lose weight or detox or get some extra bloat off, really recommend berries. So, just about a third to half a cup. I'm only gonna put about a third. You can add some stevia if you want it a little bit more sweet. But that's it guys, I keep it simple. You see how I don't have five things of fruit. Just a little bit of berries, some awesome greens and protein, then let's blend it. So when your smoothie comes out like really thick, just put it in a bowl, a smoothie bowl. I love that, because then you can eat it with a spoon. And if you don't like smoothie bowls, add in the entire thing of coconut water or water. Mm. Mm. That's really sweet. I know I'm fueling my body. I know I'm getting healthier, getting my nutrients in. So, I'm happy. Mm. Thanks so much for tuning in guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you enjoyed the extra education on top of the recipe. Let me know in the comment section if you have questions or anything that you'd like me to try to recreate or cravings you're having. Let me know down below. I'm here to help you out. See you in the next video. Bye.